So we're going to work on this problem. They give us the information about tangent theta and cotangent of phi. And they ask about sine of theta plus phi. So right away, I see there's going to be a sum formula for sine. So we're going to go and look at the uh, sum formula for sine. It's here on the left, sine a plus b. So let's go ahead and apply that. So we got sine theta plus phi, not a and b, but theta and phi. And this is sine theta uh, cos phi plus cos theta sine phi. Now if we just knew sine theta and cos phi, we would have this first part done. Uh, unfortunately, they gave us some different starting information here. So what we're gonna do is, I'm only gonna do this for tangent. I'm gonna take this information about tangent theta and figure out we're trying to find sine theta, cos theta. So we're gonna use SOHCAHTOA here. I like to do the triangle method for this. So tangent is eight over 15. Now. Our value is positive. If this was a negative 8 over 15, you're going to be either in quadrant 2 or 3, uh, or you'll be in quadrant 2 or 4, and you'll have to decide which one you're in. But for us, all these values are positive, so we don't have to worry about that. So tangent is the TOA part of TOA, no, Soka TOA. So opposite is 8. Adjacent is 15, and we're now going to draw a triangle here. Here's our theta. Opposite, 8, adjacent, 15. We need to get the hypotenuse. So hypotenuse squared equals 8 squared plus 15 squared. So that's 64 plus a lot. Let's say 225. And whatever that is, uh, let's see, 9, 8, 289. Let's write that a little better. All right, so that's our hypotenuse. Oh, that's this hypotenuse squared. So hypotenuse is square root 289. It seems like it's one I should know. Uh, but if that is a nice square root, that's fine. If not, oh well. We don't need a perfect square root here. Uh, we are starting to have our math run into our other math. So I'm going to separate this out. Now I still I have enough information to get sine theta. I just have to put it together the right way. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. And just looking here, opposite 8 hypotenuse square root 289. And we can also get cosine theta adjacent over hypotenuse. So that's 15 over square root 289. Now, what we have done is found the values for the trig functions of theta. Next, you need to use cotangent phi, which is gonna be the reciprocal here, and figure out what is sine and cosine of phi, and that will let you get the other two values, and then you can just leave this big ugly product right here. It'll look like two things multiplied plus two other things multiplied. And that will be your answer here.